This is a view over by the garage side. This is the area. Why don't you walk over here? The other side of this fence here, we're going to put a huge garden next spring and summer on site. So, this area here will be where the new detached garage is going to go. That garage is actually going to go away. Just gives you an idea of the, the other pasture with the humongous burn pile that I'm going to have to call the fire department for a burn. <laughs> Garage. Oh my gosh, someone put a Porsche in my garage. Maybe that came with a house I didn't even know about it. There is a, an oil tank buried below here that I have to dig out. Hopefully it hasn't leaked anywhere. That'll be a problem. But here is the front of the house. I'm going to put a very cool big flagpole there. It's going to be awesome. So let's walk up and see if anyone's home. Hello. Okay, so as we walk in, there is this lovely brick floor that we're leaving because it's going to be a bear to get out. <laughs> but, um, so this is the front, these are the stairs going up to the second floor. This nice iron banister that we're going to change out. The walk in is as you go to the right, there is the living room with this beautiful red carpet that is vintage 1972. Thankfully, they left in these beautiful curtains and valance that we'll be sure to rip down and put in the trash as soon as possible. So, this was a fairly decent sized room. They, uh, they had a little water problem here, so the master bath upstairs, the shower pan leaked, and the entire ceiling was falling down. We came in the house, and you can't see, but all the floors underneath the carpet are all buckled from water damage. Um, baseboard oil heat. Uh, you can see it got pretty hot there. <laughs> we'll be ripping that out. Um, it's a beautiful uh, wallpaper and a mantle that is completely not our taste. So the mantle and the marble surround, that will all get torn out as well. We're going to put a door here into the study, eventually. As I walk through the hallway, this is the dining room. Again, it has the matching valance. I'm sorry, they're not matching. These are a nice teal color. Um, nice parquet floors that we'll be tearing up. Uh, it's a pretty decent sized dining room actually. But uh, so this dining room will actually stay. And we walk into this room, which was the previously the kitchen. Circa 1972 cabinets. They're actually in pretty good shape. Circa 1972 ceiling fan. Beautiful black laminate counters. Kitchen made over under oven. Refrigerator. Anyway, all this is getting torn out. This is gonna end up being a this is gonna be a breakfast room. We're finished. And and we're taking from here out where the laundry room is, this is going to come out and this is actually going to be a step down. There's going to be two step downs, one step down here and one step down over there that's going to go into a family room kitchen area. But all over on that wall is all going to get torn out. And this is very cool. You walk out here to this awesome screen and porch. 
We're actually going to try to take the ceiling up because it's got a kind of vaulted and put some beadboard up there. The screen and porch is pretty rotted, but it's pretty awesome. Out to the uh, out to the pool area. There's Hadley, Hadley lounging. Were the bugs too bad, Hadley? Yes. What's that? It's hot. Yes. Okay. So now we go into this gem of a bathroom. Oh, this beautiful wallpaper. It's so lovely. I would turn on some lights, but the previous owners decided to completely gut every light fixture in the house before they left. Um, beautiful red sink with some nice brass fixtures. Uh, again, black laminate matching. Yeah, we're getting rid of all that. Uh, black toilet. Okay, although black toilets kind of make a lot of sense. I won't go any further than that. Okay, uh, this room's gonna all get redone. Now here's to the, uh, the, the study. This fireplace they put on an angle, which is kind of goofy. Actually comes out into the room, which is kind of weird. We don't really know what to do with that, so we're just gonna leave it. But this is gonna be like a desk study area. These beautiful styrofoam beams. <laughs> coming down. Um, and uh, wood paneling is coming out. And there's uh, Hadley wondering what happened. Are you okay? <laughs> I, I just took down one of the beams to show how solid they were. That made you the nah. Oh, sorry about that. I broke one. <laughs> this, uh, this slider, we're going to take the entire slider out and make it in like two big sliders so the entire slider opens up. You are getting really What's up? What's happening? Hi. Hi. <laughs> wow. So this is going to be study guitar room hangout. And then there's going to be an opening through that wall into this room from the living room. This is what they used. The, the previous owner needed to lock their kids in the house. So they decided to put this beautiful wrought iron gate in. Okay. And now we will go upstairs. Carpet ripped out. Band shirt ripped out. Oh, this is lovely red carpet. I think at one time there was padding under here. Uh, maybe 40 years ago. Not anymore. So, uh, we'll start with what's going to be Hadley's room. So you go through here. This was the master bedroom. You can actually see the outline of where the bed used to be. But this is going to be Hadley's room. And it's actually got a bathroom back here that we're going to make a little bigger for her. Again, beautiful wallpaper. <laughs> so we'll pretty much be getting this as well. Yes. Okay. Um, one thing that you don't find in houses today are sinks out in the bedroom. It's beautiful. It's a nice shell shaped. Love the fixtures. So what we're going to end up doing is that closet, we're going to kind of take all this area out and give it to Cole's room on the other side. But this will end up being Hadley's room. And if I go through here back of the hallway, I walk down the hallway here. This will end up being Cole's room. It's a pretty decent sized room. It's going to get bigger. We're going to take on that side of the wall. That's where Hadley's closet is, or the closet is today. So we're going to, we're going to take that back. Probably have to make these windows a little bigger. Cole's got a pretty cool view in the backyard. You can see a horse going by out there. It's just kind of cool. Closet. And here is a bathroom. This is actually the nicest room in the house, so we're not going to actually do a ton with until my wife gets a hold of it. Then we probably will end up doing a ton with it. 
But anyway, this actually, the room actually, it's not bad. Unfortunate thing is since the sewer pipe is cracked, we can't flush any of the toilets. So I can't use any of the plumbing anyway. This is going to be just kind of a guest room, wee room kind of area. This was the area that they had a bed under. Um, it just looks like kind of a bad hairdo. I wish I could put myself in there and kind of video it, but anyway. Uh, this is some beautiful vintage pink carpeting. Uh, we will not be keeping that as well. So we go back out to the closet, or go back out to the hallway, and what we're going to end up doing is taking kind of this area here, taking it away. So this will end up being a part of the hallway area, and then this is going to be an entrance that's going to go into the master bedroom that's going to be over the existing garage there. So anyway, here's a, another view of the front yard. So anyway, it's going to be quite a project. So there's the before, and uh, I'll show you the after when we're done.